Hey, what's going on, Fisk Educators? My name is Kevin Danielson, and I'm here to talk to you about and show you the effective way that I have my elementary students problem solve in my classroom. And, you know, as you know, and as I'm sure you will learn if you haven't yet, is that minor issues that you would think would be not a big deal are huge issues and cause a big deal sometimes at the younger setting. Um, and this is really effective for K through five, and sometimes there's big outbursts of who got a certain piece of equipment first, if the person got tagged, um, you know, just every little situation that comes about. And usually the kids want to come immediately to you and not even try to problem solve on their own. And so it seems really simple, um, and it is, but, and it's so easy, is that I just tell my kids on day one that if there's ever a dispute over a piece of equipment, or if somebody got tagged, or if you felt you should have been somewhere or somewhere else, or any little situation, they have to play rock, paper, scissors right away. They drop a piece of equipment, they play rock, paper, scissors one time until they get a winner, and whoever won that uh, rock, paper, scissors battle gets the piece of equipment, wasn't tagged, wherever the situation was. And it's usually really effective. It works out, honestly, 90% of the time, and the kids are over it. And you know, you say you can't throw fit, rock, paper, scissors, it's done, and keep on playing, because you're gonna find a different ball, a different piece of equipment, anything that, anything that you are using. And you know, you have to stress to the kids, if you are getting tagged, that's part of the game. It's not a big deal. In today's setting, you shouldn't be out for more than 20 seconds anyways. So find a way to get the kid back in and just move right along. And hopefully this will alleviate some questions and some problems um, that a kid could easily solve on their own. So I have a short video of some examples. Check it out, try it in your classroom. And if you have any questions, let me know how it goes. Before we get any further, we need to go over how we problem solve in this lab. Now, let's say for example, we have two students who are both fighting over this deck ring, and they're pulling on it, they're pulling on it, they're pulling on it, and nobody wants to let go. How do we solve who gets to have the deck ring? Yes. Rock, paper, scissors, all right? Rock, paper, scissors. Play it one time, and then whoever is the winner of that game gets to have a piece of equipment. You only play it once, and if you tie, you keep on going until you get a winner. That's step one. Remember, that also works if you are playing tag. Also works if we are playing tag, and you don't agree you got tagged or not. And also, if you have any other minor arguments that can be solved with rock, paper, scissors, such as cutting and line. If that does not work, what is the next step? Step one is rock, paper, scissors. If you cannot solve that, where do you think you and that person needs to go? Go to the corner. Very good. Over there we have our conflict corner. And that is where you need to talk about a situation that happened and solve it. So the first step is what? Rock, paper, scissors. Second step is? Go to the corner. What do, you think, what do you think the third step would be? If you can't solve the rock, paper, scissors, you cannot solve it in the corner. What do you think the third step would be, Lila? The third step would be. What is it, Emma? Yes. Come up to me with the problem. But if you are fighting over this deck ring, let's say. Emma and Max want you both to crawl and grab a step right together. Go get it. So they got it and they're fighting over it. Drop it. Rock, paper, scissors. Max would win, so who gets the step right? Max does. Very good. If you don't do that step and if you also don't go to the top of the corner, come straight to me before doing those first two steps, guess what I'm going to tell you? Rock, paper, scissors, first of all, try to figure it out on your own in the conflict corner. Do those rules make sense, boys? 